Hey guys, Bowser Kerrigy here. Today I'm here to count down my top 15 gaming soundtracks of all time. This was originally going to be a top 10 list, but I had so many choices that I just had to bump it up to 15. And even then I still had trouble deciding on what to put on this list. And before I begin, keep in mind that musical taste is probably one of the most subjective things there is in this world. So something you may really like, maybe so may something I particularly don't care for. Something I really like, maybe something you particularly don't care for. So keep that in mind. And also, this list represents a group of songs that made an impact on me at a specific time in my life. So, five years from now, this list could be completely different for all I know. So, with that out the way, ladies and gentlemen, my top 15 gaming soundtracks of all time. Enjoy. An atmospheric and dark game should rightfully be accompanied by the same type of music, and SMT4 delivers. Every battle theme delivers a feeling of dread, emphasizing the harsh reality your characters find themselves in, in this world full of angels and demons where death lurks around every corner. Or the theme of Kiyoharu, a man that believed with all his heart that God was coming to save his people and went insane after decades of waiting. Just listen and you can hear the despair and sorrow in every note. While SMT4 may be at the bottom of the list, it still stands out as one of the best for me. I'm sure I don't have to explain much of this entry to a lot of 80s and 90s kids watching. Mega Man X was my first Mega Man game, and one of the first games I've ever played, period. I remember my cousin handing me a controller and being immediately thrown to the action of Central Highway with the theme song blaring from the TV. It wasn't slow like Mario, and while it wasn't as fast as Sonic, it had non-stop action and almost every piece of music emphasized this while fitting whatever theme the current stage had. There's not much else to say here, it's Mega Man X and the music is simply high octane goodness. This one's a bit different from most other entries on this list. No dramatic pieces for battles of epic proportions or anything like that. Instead, the world ends with you lets hip hop and J pop take center stage. Yeah. Huh. Come on. He's got opinion. A posted suggestion, but never reveals his name. Ripped by someone, taken as a good one. Everything is funky and fits the urban style the game is just drowning in. The music is a cherry on top of the cake that's the atmosphere of this game. I would literally stand in place on the overall at times just to listen to one more loop of whatever song was playing. Don't be surprised to find yourself suddenly bobbing your head or tapping your foot while listening to some of these. Out of all the OSTs on this list, this is probably the one that caught me the most by surprise. I picked up the first Ace Attorney game pretty much on a whim and was shocked how each theme fit every situation perfectly. No matter how ridiculous or serious the situation got, the accompanying theme was always a perfect fit and was disturbingly catchy. The song Cornered has now become one of my favorite tracks in gaming, period.
Hell, it was even played during a scene in the anime No Game No Life, which is the sole reason I even gave the show a try in the first place. <laughs> While every game in this series has good music, the first game stands as the best for me. If the giant Minato behind me didn't already alert you, I am a massive Xenoblade Chronicles fan and just a big fan of Xeno games in general. People like to overuse this word, but I feel it truly applies here when I say some of the scenes in this game and the music playing during them are nothing short of epic. Giant gods duking it out while the world's residents can only sit back and watch, check, traveling across a massive world where anything and everything in your sight is there for you to explore to your heart's content, check. There's so many standout tracks in this game from You Will Know Our Names, the Guard Planes theme, Mechanical Rhythm, Engage the Enemy, and so much more. It's a fittingly epic assortment of music for an epic adventure. Final Fantasy VI is the standard I hold all RPGs to. I consider it the best in the series and a masterpiece. Obviously, the music is a big part of that. From the moment the game starts with the Magitek armor suits trekking through the snow, into the credits, every single scene in this game is accompanied by an emotional track that fits perfectly. There's countless moments I could use as examples, the opera house scene, the phantom train, Tara finding out the truth about herself, the list goes on. And I have to say that Dancing Mad, the demon of the final boss, is nothing short of perfection. How composer Nobuo Umatsu was able to create such a song with the limited hardware he had to work with is beyond me, but I'm glad he did. First game I've ever played, ladies and gentlemen. If it wasn't for Sonic 2, I might not be here making this video or have a YouTube channel. Every single piece of music in this game is top notch. Every zone theme, every jingle, they're all just so catchy, and you can't help but listen to them on repeat. Honestly, if you've never played Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I suggest playing it for the music alone. I'm sure there's some nostalgia making me slightly biased in saying that, but it is truly great, even to this day.
The last entry was my first game I've ever played, now number 8 is my favorite game I've ever played. I've already sung this game's praises in numerous videos, but for now let's just talk about the soundtrack. And what a soundtrack it is, possibly more than any other OST on this list, the songs in this game got me emotional. When the boss then kicks in, it gets you pumped for a fight. If two characters are having a heart to heart, you can feel the impact of their words, despite the game not having voice acting. There's one scene in particular I want to mention. One scene that possibly more than any other in this game got me immersed. There's a character named Id, and when you meet him for the first time, he pretty much destroys everything and anyone in his path. One of your characters tosses a freaking battleship at him, and he just carries it effortlessly over his head like it's nothing, and tosses it back at you. The song playing in the background of this scene, The One Who Is Torn Apart, its theme, that song made this scene so powerful that it literally gave me chills. In around two decades of gaming, no other scene in the game has ever given me that much sense of awe. It was truly nothing short of an experience. My second favorite Final Fantasy game takes the number 7 spot. The music in this one is all over the place from upbeat to somber to straight up heavy metal, and of course I love all of it. From the moment that opening cutscene started with Otherworld blasting in the background, I was hooked. Just like FF6, this game is full of unforgettable scenes and music for me. The party crashing the wedding with the salt playing in the background, Titus being transported to Spear with This Is Your Story in the background, Subteki De Na during the infamous lake scene. Actually, Suteke De Na is literally the only song in the entire world I cannot listen to without tearing up a little. Yes, this game got to me that much. Now for the game that my intro song comes from. Chrono Trigger is another classic, one that I actually didn't play and beat until a few years back. And I gotta say, this game has stood the test of time extremely well. Almost every song from the intro to the world map themes are simply beautiful. Corridors of Time is hands down my favorite world map theme ever, and Megas' theme is an easy contender for my favorite boss theme ever. This game is right there with Final Fantasy VI and having mind-blowing music for such limited hardware. At points it truly sells the idea of you going on an adventure with your group of characters. The music is tribal when going back to prehistoric times, it becomes desolate when traveling to a dystopian future, and it's popping with energy when traveling across the countryside. It's very easy and very satisfying to get lost in. Out of every game on this list, even Sonic 2, which is the first game I've ever played, the soundtrack of this game is the very definition of nostalgia for me. As many of you know, before I played Xenogears, this was my favorite game ever. While it has been dethroned, I still love it all the same. I could name over 30 tracks in this game that I could play on repeat all day, but obviously I don't have that kind of time. Seriously though, for me this is some of composer Matoi Sakuraba's best work. A big standout for me are the battle themes, keep your guard up and fighting with the spear are two of my favorite boss themes ever, and beat the angels up there with Megas' theme from Chrono Trigger is my favorite boss theme ever. Like pretty much every other game this high up on the list, the songs in this game help you become immersed in whatever is happening at the moment. Every time I hear the theme of the starting town Azalea, 
It takes me back to that time at the start of the journey when both I and the main characters had no idea what was in store for them over the next 60 hours. Undertale is one of those highly praised games that shockingly lived up to the hype for me. There's a reason it's garnered such a cult following in a short amount of time and why there's a million and a half covers of its songs on YouTube. The music is really that good though. Unfortunately I can't go into too much detail with this entry because of massive spoilers but the first time I ever heard Toriel or Undine's theme, I was blown back. Seriously, if you watch my playthrough of Undertale you'll see me be visibly taken aback by Undine's theme the first time it starts playing. There's not much else to say here. It's Undertale, it's a game that gets better the more you think about it, and the music is no exception. If I was about 10 years younger, this game might have taken the number one spot. This game pretty much defined 5th through 7th grade for me. My friend and I would literally get together every morning at school to talk about the progress our childs had made in the child garden, I would listen to the soundtrack on a daily basis, and I spent at least an hour a day playing Metal Harbor or Radical Highway. All the main characters in this game have their own genre of music, Sonic has upbeat, rock music, Knuckles has hip hop, and so on. I would literally play the Pumpkin Hill or City Escape stages over and over just to hear their theme music. Even Amy Rose is made tolerable only by her theme that plays every time she shows up. Going back to the stage music though, some of these songs seriously made these stages for me. The frantic, almost James Bond feel of Pyramid Cave, the smooth mellow flow of Aquatic Mind, it takes already fun levels to another height. And of course, I can't put this entry here without mentioning Live and Learn. It was my favorite song for quite a long time, and I was smiling like a maniac when it played Sonic's reveal trailer for Smash Bros. Brawl. So Nier is very unique on this list for the simple fact I have never played it. So you might be shocked that it's number 2. Well if you are, you've never listened to the Nier soundtrack. Yes, it's that damn good that I put it at number 2 despite the fact I've never played it. Just listen to this. I do plan to play this game one day soon and the sole reason I have any interest is because of the soundtrack. It's not too often I find there's so much of music that just makes me sit back and go, wow. But I stumbled across the near soundtrack and it did just that.
確かにあの時私のそばにいたいつだっていつだっていつだってすぐ横で笑っていたなくしても取り戻す君を I will never leave Persona 3 FES showed me that RPGs still had room to grow and show us something new. That the genre was far from dead. It introduced me to Shin Megami Tensei as a whole, and my now favorite composer, Shoji Maguro. A big part of why I love this soundtrack so much is because it aligns perfectly with my own musical tastes. I like all genres of music in general, but my main ones are hip hop, rock, J rock, and J pop, and jazz. And this game has all of that mixed together flawlessly. I remember the day I got the game, and I got into my first boss battle. I literally put the controller down for half an hour just to listen to it, telling myself, just one more loop. The final boss theme, The Battle for Everyone's Souls, is one of the greatest pieces of music I've ever heard in a video game or outside of one. Ever since playing this game in 2008, I don't think there's been two consecutive days when I haven't listened to a Persona song. The soundtrack was really that good for me. I gave it the highest recommendation, and I sincerely hope Persona 5 can replace it as my favorite. If the small samples of music we've heard so far are any indication, it might just be possible. So ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, my top 15 gaming soundtracks of all time. Hope you enjoyed this, I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you had just as much fun watching. Leave your thoughts down in the comments, soundtracks you like down in the comments from games you've played in your life, I would love to hear about it. And just so you know, so I don't get crucified by Persona fans, Persona 4 was going to be like number 16 if I made this like a top 20 or whatever, but it just barely didn't make the cut. This is my top 15. There's a bunch of other gaming soundtracks I love, but yeah, these are like the best of the best. And Persona 4 is still amazing, but the soundtrack is 16 for me. So, no Persona fans crucify me in the comments. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a great day. <laughs>